And the WTOL 11 weather team has been keeping a close eye on eclipse day for days, for weeks, for months. We have seen a lot of changes, in fact, in the last 48 hours. Let's bring in meteorologist John Birchfield. So, John, what does the forecast look like right now, and what are the chances we could be seeing some clouds? Hey, Jeff, the latest data is looking optimistic as far as that sky cover forecast is concerned. We will have some clouds in the morning and perhaps a brief shower, but by the afternoon when we achieve totality, it is looking like that cloud Cloud cover is going to thin out gradually and dissipate throughout the day through the afternoon. Sky cover of 40 to 50% is likely. Any showers are going to be done well before the eclipse begins and 65 degrees going to be milder than normal for early April. So what is normal for April 8th? Well, in Toledo, a normal high is 58 in Cleveland. It's 57 Indianapolis 61 and down to the southwest areas like Dallas typically see sunshine and 70s. That being said, a good portion of Texas is expected to see cloud cover this go around. Here is what normal sky cover entails. The southwestern United States, those orange and reds indicate mostly sunny skies across the Great Lakes. We typically see a more overcast and gloomy setting. Our forecast, we may have some clouds very early on as the partial eclipse is beginning, but by the time we reach totality, a good mix of clouds and sunshine. You can see the temperature trend as well, likely to be in the 60s, well above average, and sky cover is going to dissipate as the afternoon unfolds. In other words, view conditions are going to get better and the latest data, the latest trends are all headed in the right direction. Overall, the temperature trend is also headed in a milder direction. That path of totality stretching from Buffalo and Erie back towards Indianapolis. It is going to be a warmer than normal April 8th. As far as the sky cover is concerned, when the partial eclipse begins shortly before two o'clock, there will be some cloud cover. By the time we achieve totality and the sky turns dark in the middle of the afternoon, you will be able to see the total solar eclipse, including the sun's corona and that'll be shortly after 3 12 p.m. expecting some clearing but also a few lingering clouds around. We're going to continue to fine tune that forecast as the data gets better and keep you up to date for Monday's total solar eclipse.